Tonight's top story, the family of a two-year-old boy killed in a hit-and-run Sunday wants to be sure his death is not in vain. WDSU reporter Casey Fran live tonight on North Claiborne where this fatal accident happened on Sunday. And Casey, amazingly, this child's mother was also hit by a car there just a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's what we learned today, Scott. And she actually survived that wreck those years ago. And she's now seeing her son has died so tragically. Now this community and this family want something to be done to control speeding and improve lighting here in, along North Claiborne to make sure that there's no other death or near-death experience here in the future. I never thought as long as I've been on this earth and everything I have experienced this team, that I will be burying my two-year-old grandson. But tonight, this family is faced with that reality. After two-year-old Christian Glover was killed in a hit-and-run accident Sunday. A large crowd, including his teachers and two-year-old classmates, gathered outside his home, grieving the innocent life gone so soon. I cried all night. You know, I can't. Even much get this baby face out of out of my vision because he was just at our center Wednesday at our Thanksgiving feast. Him and his mom, and he was so happy and playing and so full of life. Christian was a loving kid. He was fun to be around. He had a beautiful smile. And the last time I seen him, I told him um, that I loved him, and he said, "I love you back now." They never imagined he wouldn't return from the holiday break. But his grandmother, Lamika Randall, says this is not the first time something like this has happened to their family. My daughter got hit a couple of years back crossing the street, and she suffered. Um, they broke some bones in her knee, and she had torn ligaments. So she had to wear a cast. And now my grandson. Randall says since then they've complained to police about the lack of light and speed limit signs along the busy street. Police were enforcing traffic laws in the area Tuesday, issuing at least 22 tickets, some for speeding. We're constantly looking at uh, avenues of, of conducting speed enforcement at multiple areas that we get complaints in. We take the complaints, we look into the complaints, and we go out there and enforce it. But Randall says it's still not enough. If somebody would have did something for me when my daughter got hit before out here. If they would have took care of my grandson, would still be alive today. They don't want to take care of life. They don't want to take care of traffic. It took for a two-year-old child to get hit and killed for them to start giving out citations about speeding on the street. Now police are still looking for the man who was driving the older model white Chevy Silverado on Sunday that hit Christian Glover. And if, if anyone has information that can help police, they're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 504-822-1111. On your side, I'm Casey Ferran. Back to you.